And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Mole Rats in Space. Now, Mole Rats in Space is a game from Peaceful Kingdom. They make a lot of cooperative games for kids. But what really caught my um, eye on this one was it's a game by Matt Leacock. You know, the guy who made Forbidden Desert, Forbidden Island, and uh, what's that game called? Pandemic is making a game for kids, so that certainly has me interested. Mole rats in space, well you are mole rats working together fighting snakes, snake, snake. Um, 20 minute game, two to four players, let's take a look at how it plays. On the board, each player is going to have a mole rat of their color. So you can see these are little plastic figures. They have a basket in the back. And this basket is important because they're picking up some important pieces of equipment. We have a toothbrush, a beat, duct tape, and some sort of video game type thing. And you need to get these four pieces of equipment and get all four of them to the spaceship in the middle. You need to do that without them dying. Now, there are two ways to die. One is to get bitten by a snake. As you can see, there are snakes of different colors who are moving around the board. You don't want one of these snakes to get into your escape pod, because if you do, everyone loses. And if a snake moves onto or through a player character, that player gets sent back to their start spot, and they take a wound. The second time it happens to a player, then that player is dead, and everybody loses. There's also a little... Uh, basically uh, shoots here on the board. So when you land on the chute, you're going to go down to the wherever it shows. But a couple of them shoot out into space. So if that ever happens to you, goodbye, mole rat. So each player is going to have a card in their hand. There's a deck of cards, and you need to win the game before the deck of cards is out, or you will lose. So you'll notice there's several ways for players to lose. If any mole rat dies, you lose. If a snake gets to the escape hatch, you lose. Or if the deck runs out, you lose. So players are going to have a card in their hand. On your turn, you play the card. And you do what the card says. But you will decide how to do it. So for example, this one here says, move all the mole rats two spaces exactly, and move one red snake two spaces. So I might say, hmm, all right, well, I don't want the red snake to land here, so I'll do that. And I'll move this orange guy one, two in that direction. I'll move the blue one one, two in this direction. So he landed on a, on a ladder, so he goes up. And we'll move the yellow one this way. And the green one will move this way, so he also goes up the ladder. So then the next player might, will play there. And then you draw another card at the end of your turn. This one says, move all the blue snakes to the closest ladder. Oh, well, that's no good. I don't want, I don't want the blue snakes to get in. The next player... They're going to move their own mole rat two spaces and all purple snakes two spaces. So let's say the next person's yellow, so they could go two spaces this way, which would shoot them out of the ship, or two spaces this way. Well, that seems pretty obvious. And then the purple rat, they're going to, the purple snake, they're going to move two spaces. And we'll put it on top of the other snake. You can have multiple snakes in the same space. The next player, all brown snakes, move to the closest ladder. Oh, man. All right, the next one. I can pick one snake and move it to the closest ladder. Well, it's not going to be one of the ones I've already moved up. So we're going to pick uh, the red snake. Now, i got to be careful because I don't want the red... Actually, you know, what it would be better, and this is where you teach the kids, to do the brown snake because hopefully we, we might get the red snake moves to the ladder, and we don't want that. Brown snakes move one space, and then my person moves one space. So the brown snake here, drop them down. And then the next person will be orange, up like this. And so on and so forth. You're going to keep doing that. Now, if you land on top of a piece of equipment, you're going to put it into your backpack, backpack. And then you're going that, you know, you need to get these four pieces of equipment. Sometimes cards will show up that bring another snake onto the board. And there are multiple snakes of the different colors involved. You can, if you manage to get a snake, so that a snake lands on one of these uh, shoot, that snake's out. That's a very good feeling to have. There's also a few cards in here that let you move any mole rat or any snake. You notice this one here has a thing on it. You don't put that card in a deck for when there's only two players. 
So players are simply going to play a card and then draw a card. And you will continue until the players have won together or lost together as a group. The box also comes with an envelope that says, are you ready for the challenge? And if you've won three times here, you would check it each time you won. I just, we just played so many times we didn't check it. When you won three, you open this up and it adds some cards that make the game and a, and a rule that makes the game harder. Now this game is a fairly easy game for kids to play, right? You essentially have a card, it tells you exactly what to do. Each option on the card gives you usually two choices, move this way or move that way. Sometimes it's obvious. If you move this way, you die. If you move this way, you live. If you move this way, you go up a ladder. If you move this way, you land on a, on a piece of equipment. And so that, that's pretty simple for kids. Not to mention the go up ladders and fall down the chutes. It's pretty similar to chutes and ladders, snakes and ladders. So kids are gonna understand that concept. That does not mean that the game is an obvious one though. As you saw when I gave that, that overview, I said, okay, we'll move this snake because that card has already come up and there may not be another card that moves brown snakes, but if we turn over a card that moves red snakes, we would lose the game. That's something that is not obvious to a kid, but it's a, something that an adult who's playing this game with kids can teach them. Or you say, if you move here, you are a distance away from this and you are a distance away from this, so if you draw a move two or a move three, this is a good spot to be in. You'll get to go up a ladder or you'll get to go over here. And you don't want to get caught here because if you get a certain thing, no matter which way you go, you're going to get hurt. The game is actually pretty hard. And when you add that extra deck of cards in, that's even harder. It is not a simple game. I feel like I'm pretty good with cooperative games, and at least I'm fairly experienced at them. And the first time we played this, we lost. Now, it was close, close, and had not one of the kids got bitten by a snake halfway through the game and you know, been forced to, to, to move, you know, we, we probably would have won. We ran out of time. But it, got, it gets hairy at a certain spot. You can waste too much time making snakes fall out because that feels very satisfying. Out in a space snake. Because, that, you know, if there's one good place for snakes, it's outer space. Snake lovers, don't email me. But anyway, the, the game play itself is fun. You're all working together. You say, hey, play your card, and we'll all work together. What's the best way to do? But as an adult with these sorts of games, it's always good to let the kids make some decisions and you can mention strategy tips. It's a good one for parents to play with their kids. It's simpler than you know the other cooperative games that Mr. Uh, Leacock has done, but I think it really fits up there with it. Now, I will say the components for the game are slightly less quality than I would prefer for a game where kids are gonna be playing it and you, the cards were not the best of quality, the tokens weren't, the, the figures are fine, the little plastic figures. And the game, if you glance at it, you'd be like, oh, roll a move game, but there's no dice in it. It's simply move and it, yeah, it has shoots and ladders, but this is a shoots and ladders game. I'll play with the kids. See, you shouldn't buy kids shoots and ladders, snakes and ladders. There's no choices in that game. In that game, they, you know, roll a die or pick a card or whatever it is, and then you move and see what happens. And I don't want to teach my kids that there's no choices in life. There are choices. Sometimes you're down to two choices like this game, but they're good choices. Excellent game for children. Check it out. That is Mole Rats in Spain. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door!